Welcome back, everyone. You're watching Coastal Living. Now, what kind of coastal show would we be without a good old fishing segment? We are so grateful for our friend, Captain John Little, for reporting to us weekly to share his knowledge on how to get the best results from your fishing trip. And he didn't fail us this week. I think he's got something special to share today. That's right, Clarissa. As he always does, this is one of my favorite segments, and we are getting close to fishing and boating week. And we're about to find out where Captain John Little is going to be fishing this week on this week's Coastal Living Fishing Line. Hey everybody, Captain John Little here with your Coastal Living Fishing Line. We're traveling down to the Florida Keys right now with my family. Uh, we're about to do some amazing fishing down in the Florida Keys. I can't wait to show y'all pictures. It's going to be amazing. We got the entire family with us, all the kiddos. Uh, we're going to put them on some Mai Mai. Uh, we're going to do some spear fishing for hog snapper, mangrove snapper, some grouper. It's going to be phenomenal. Can't wait. I want to show you all the pictures next Friday. But right now in Corpus Christi, Texas, y'all can catch a lot of trout using live croaker under a Texas Rattler. That Texas Rattler is like a dinner bell. You just pop it a couple of times, bring the croaker up above the uh, grass line, and then big trout are going to come up and nail it. It's amazing fishing right now for the trout. The redfish is a little slower, it's a little tougher, but you can still catch them up in the flats using uh, alimator rig with a live shrimp underneath. All you got to do is drift across them flats with that uh, live shrimp, pop that dinner bell, that little cork, and the redfish will come tear it up. And if you're after flounder, you need to ask Joslyn about that. Joslyn's back at uh, the station. She'll be able to tell you she was with my good buddy uh, Jeremy Torres and his brother uh, Jesse Torres. They're on some really good flounder right now, so you need to ask Joslyn how to catch them and where to catch them big flounder. Thanks for tuning in. I can't wait to see y'all next Friday. I'm going to have some awesome pictures from the Florida Keys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll talk to y'all soon. Thanks again, Captain John Little, for always keeping our viewers educated on how to get the best catch here in the Coastal Bend. All right, so maybe you don't have big plans to hit the water. Maybe you get a little seasick. Maybe fishing just isn't your thing. Not a problem. Downtown Corpus Christi has so much entertainment to offer you, even given the circumstances and as we all know, it is First Friday, but let's figure out how we are celebrating First Fridays these days with our friend from the Downtown Management District. I'm here with Jordan Michael from the Downtown Management District to talk about all the great things happening in Downtown Corpus Christi, especially Art Walk. Thank you for joining me today, Jordan. Hi, thank you for having me. All right, so tell me, we've got the restrictions kind of easing up, but what is the game plan for this First Friday? So we are still continuing with a virtual art walk. Um, you know, we, we want to continue to be safe. So we are uh, focusing art walk online, just like we have mm -hmm. in the past two months. So anyone on social media who follows downtown Corpus Christi should check out our stories on Friday, um, okay. between 5.30 and 9. That's the normal art walk times. Just mm -hmm. check out our stories and we will be sharing information about all the different art walk vendors um, who have the capability of selling online. So you can still, you know, see your favorite art walk vendors and do some shopping. And even if you're not on social media, that's totally okay. It's going to be on our website as well. So you can check out go downtown CC slash virtual art walk and mm -hmm. all of the vendors will be listed there as well. Wonderful. So you don't have to be social media savvy. You just have to know how to online shop, which I'm pretty sure most of us have right. at this point <laughs> after long for so long. So that's exciting. So we'll still be able to enjoy the shopping. What else do we have to offer? So we also have virtual bridge walk. You know, normally mm -hmm. bridge walk and art walk are always within the same weekend. So we can't really do bridge walk right now. So again, we're doing it virtual and we're encouraging our followers on social media to share pictures from maybe past bridge walks. Mm -hmm. Everyone who, who does bridge walk, they love to get on top of the bridge and take pictures of this beautiful scenery. And so mm -hmm. we encourage our followers to share those pictures and then hopefully we'll be seeing you again on top of the bridge. I love it. Great way to reminisce about the good times, looking forward to the future times and it still makes us feel connected. Perfect. All right, and then before, previously I've talked with you about the Curbside Champ CC, which is this the shirt that we were raving about? This is it. This is the I, I love love it. local t-shirt. We have them okay. in blue and in pink. Mm -hmm. And in order to earn a t-shirt, everyone's been asking, and we've had such great success with this. So we've right. been doing this for about a month now. It's the Curbside Champ CC program. And we, this is to encourage people to continue ordering curbside, ordering takeout, mm -hmm. and supporting downtown restaurants. So if you 
do that, if you order curbside and you share your pictures on Instagram or on Facebook, tag downtown Corpus Christi, mm -hmm. and you can tag hashtag curbside champ CC and do that five times and you can get this t-shirt. You can get it in blue okay. or you can get it in pink. And we're nice. expanding this program for the summer because since restrictions are opening up and retail and other establishments, um, downtown, the bars, the entertainment venues, the galleries, all of that, we still want people to come out and visit those venues as well. So when you come out and shop at those places, tag Summer in the City CC, hashtag Summer in the City CC. If you do that um, five times as well, you can also win this t-shirt or earn this t-shirt. And then we're selling them online too. We've really had such great success with this program and people are like, how can I get that shirt? Can I buy the shirt? Mm -hmm. So we are selling the shirts for $25 and the proceeds of this will go to our pop-up patio program. This is okay. something that a lot of downtowns um, are starting to incorporate as a response to COVID to get restaurants and, and bar venues outdoors so that they can offer social distance areas and still continue mm -hmm. with their with their operations Great. so we'll be selling those online as well the proceeds will go to the pop-up patio that's in development right now and we're really excited to see this this new venture for downtown i love it well as we can all see it's very evident that all of the, these circumstances really forced us to be really creative in how to stay connected and downtown corpus christi has done such a great job at that so to our folks at home Easy way to win a really cool t-shirt, hashtag summer in the city CC, hashtag curbside champ CC. All you have to do is post five times. I've been downtown five times in the past week probably because it's just so beautiful and there really is so much to do. So enjoy the um, virtual art walk and get some shopping done, support local. And once again, Jordan, I wanna thank you for everything you do to keep our downtown vibrant and full of life. Plus all these great things you guys have come up with to help us support each other through this difficult time. It's always really great to speak with Jordan. She's doing so much to help our community, especially downtown Corpus Christi. It just has so much potential and we're certainly getting there with the support of our community. All right, guys, we're not done yet. We have some amazing Texas talent coming up. I promise you don't want to miss this. And of course, your Coastal Living Daily Challenge when we return on our fabulous Friday segment right here. Stay with us, it's Coastal Living. You're watching Coastal Living on KZTV. Get the scoop on all things local by following us on Facebook and Instagram. We'll be right back on Coastal Living.